children so far in those. They stood at the four corners of the earth. They heard back the four winds of the of the earth, so that no wind would blow on the land, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Now see four angels at the four corners, as you can see on the background of the earth, holding back the wind. That means there is no wind on the earth. Do you know, let's mm, see some, uh, some facts about number four. The number four is found in the Bible several times. As you can see, there is four winds. From the heaven announced four impressive beasts, four great political powers coming out of the, the turbulence sea, the unstable mass of human. Daniel 7, verse 1, 2, 3. Four angel, four gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, relate the earthly life of Jesus. Four living beings stand in front of the throne. They symbolize the four attrib attributes of God. The four characters of God. God is love, is power, justice, and wisdom or discernment. Revelation chapter 4, verse 6. We saw four horsemen of the apocalypse white, red, black and pale horses announce the calamities that will strike human until the return of Christ. In Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 to 8, four angels hold back the four winds ready to strike the earth. Revelation 7 verse 1. Four angels are bound to the river, to the river Euphrates, ready to kill a third of men. Revelation 9 14. What does the number four symbolize? The number four evokes the four directions of space. The four cardinal points, north, south, east, and west. And therefore, the total state of an action. The whole earth will be affected. The number four also represent balance and symmetry. The fact that these angels stand at the four corners of the earth indicates that they encompass the entire planet from where they stand. They can see 
from where they stand, they can see everything. They can see everything on the earth. They control every single thing. It is important that we know what is mean from where they stand they have full power to do things, control. They have a vision that covers the entire surface of the earth. Now, no one can escape the action. The power of the wind, wind, wind designates a horizontal movement of air characterized by its direction and its speed or force. The wind is born under the effect of differences in temperature and pressure. It flows through the atmosphere from areas of high pressure anti-cyclone to area of low pressure depression. A gush is a sudden increase of rain. You only have to look at the damage caused by tornadoes and hurricane, hurricanes, cyclones, typhoons to understand how powerful and destructive the ghost of wind during storm can be. The storm which crossed Europe at the end of December 1999, named Rota and Martin, caused significant destruction by the wind blowing at the more than 150 kilometers an hour in many cities of France. This two storm claim 140 lives caused 19.2 billion in poverty, damage, and devastated many forests. In the Bible, when is often associate with God wrath and destruction. God used the wind to demonstrate his power and to destroy during the fifth, fifth plague of Egypt. Yahweh caused an is when and or is when to blow, bring crowd of loc locusts which invade the world country of Egypt and devour everything in the past. Exodus 10, verse 13. Moses straight out his word over the land of Egypt and Yahweh caused in east wind to blow over the land all that day and all that all night. When morning came, the east wind had brought the locust. The prophet Jeremiah prophesied the destruction of Judah and Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Jeremiah 4, 11, and 12. At that time, it is be said, 
to these people and to Jerusalem from the from the height of the desert there comes a torrid wind it comes in the direction of the members of my people this wind is neither extend and then to win now the wit nor to clean it it's a strong wind coming from all over there and it's at my command and now i am the one who pronounced judgment on them and prophet, prophet jeremiah also predict the fall of babylon as we know and revelation is a mastery. It will be under middle person domination. Jeremiah 51 verse 1. Thus says Yahweh, I will cause the, a destructive wind to arise against Babylon and against the inhabitant of Lib. Kamai. Jo Jehovah has entrusted Jonah with the mission to go of going to warn the inhabitants of the great pagan city of Nineveh. That their destruction is near. Instead of obeying God, Jonah go went to Jaffa and took a ship bound for Tashish. So Yahweh causes a washing wind to blow so violently that the ship treated to break and be weak. Jonah 1 verse 4, but Yahweh sent a great wind on the sea, and the storm was so violent that the boat threatened to break. In front of the terrified sailor, he recognized, take me, throw, throw me into the sea so that the sea may calm around you. As you see, Jonah recognized his mistake. He was disobeyed to God, and God act. The four angels hold back the four winds. What does that mean? The four winds, the fact that the four angels hold back the four winds mean that this four wind exert a content pressure and that they will express themselves for with force as soon as they are released. We can therefore say that the four angels Standing at the four corners of the earth represent all the angels ready to launch the offensive expressing the anger of God. On the entire surface of the earth, as soon as the signal is given, given to them, for the moment, they hold back the four winds that says so, say the wrath of God, so that it does not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. What do the land, sea, and trees symbolize? The sea refers 
to large unstable expanses of soil water, subject to the action of the wind. The agitation of the sea is manifest by the breaking of tumultuous waves. The propagations of the swell, the effervescence of the AD, the, the crash of the surf, the displacement of the maritime currents, the vast expanses of sea characterized by the movement, the inhabitants Nobility, instability, the agitation, the raging of the waves, and the worrying of the waves represent the restless humanity, distant from God. Isaiah 17, verse 12 and 13. said, oh, what a roar of innumerable peoples who roar as the sea roars, and what a roar of nation like the roar of washing waters, the nation roar like the roar of many waters. Isaiah 57 verse 20 and 21, but the wake are like the stormy sea, which cannot calm, calm down, and whose waves stir up, slip and slip. But said God, there is no peace for the wicked. But said God, there is no peace for the wicked. Isaiah 17, verse 15 said, He said to me again, The waters which you saw, by which the harlots sit, are peoples and multitude of every nation and every tongue. That is, uh, so, uh, that is Revelation 17, verse 15. This is how the sea is sometimes used in the Bible to refer to the, to the multitudes made up of many peoples, nations, Languages, they are the restless masses of human distant from God. By metonymy, metonymy, the earth designates its inhabitant. And as opposed to the sea, the land symbolizes stable humanity, presumably under the control of more stable governments. Psalm 76, verse 9. From heaven you have proclaimed your sentence. The earth, frightened, stood still. Revelation 13, verse 11. Then I saw another beast ascending out of the earth. She had two horns like those of the lamb, but she spoke like a dragon. The tree represents the high representatives of the planet. The, street, the trees are tall and magnificent, such as kings, presidents, 
but also important and influential organization. The prophet Daniel then departed to Babylon, interpret the dream of King Nebuchadnezzar, one of the most powerful kings on earth at that time. Daniel 4, verse 17 to 19 said, The tree that you saw, which had become big and strong, whose top touched the sky, and which was visible from all the earth, this tree whose foliage was beautiful and abundant food, which brought Food, food for all, under which the wind beasts, the well beasts dwell, and in whose branches the bird dwelt. You are king. You have become big and strong. Your greatness has increased to touch the sky and your dominion stand to the end of the earth. This tree is then cut and circled for seven bits. The great king Nebuchadnezzar will go mad for seven years and life. A more live among wealth beasts, 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 become because of his pride. King Nebuchadnezzar was so pride of himself, he didn't recognize God. God will give him a lesson, make him humble. He will retain his power after the end of these seven years. Daniel 4, verse 20. The king saw a watchman, a saint, come down from heaven and say, Cut down the tree and destroy it but leave the trunk with its woods in the ground and tie it with iron chain and in bronze in the middle of the grass of the field, fields. Let him be drenched with dew from heaven and have his food with the well beast until seven times pass over him. Brothers and sisters, what is important now? Nobody, nobody can face God. God humble the most proud. The Taurus tree will fall from above. Isaiah 10, verse 33. Behold, the Lord Yahweh of hosts break down the crown of foliage with a crash. The tallest trees are cut down. The tallest are fell. The four angels stand at the four corners of the, of the earth, roll back the four winds so that they do not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. These four angels await the destruction of Jesus. The chief angel, the archangel, before symbolically releasing the four winds of God, waft 
so that they blow forcefully over the entire earth, causing death and destruction. That's warning everyone on the earth to humble themselves, to recognize God in their life and do what he asking you to do. So we have to obey. We have to respect God order and do what he asks us to do. Let's a little bit talking about the sea. So the sea in the Bible. Definition. The sea is defined as a vast expanse of soul water surrounded by the land and generally in contact with an ocean. The sea is distinguished from the ocean by its surface area. The ocean being much larger, the sea is also distinguished by its geographical position. Generally, land lock between land masses or simply limited by continent, continental land. For example, the Mediterranean Sea communicates with the Atlantic Ocean through the Strait of Gibraltar. The Red Sea communicates with the Indian Ocean through the Strait of Barrel Mondeb. Two seas are completely close. The Eor Sea and the Caspian Sea. The characteristic of sea water is to be salty. The salinity is around 35 grams. At about 3.5% in the ocean, including 27 grams of sodium. Chlorine, five grams of other chlorides, chlorides, and three grams composed of sulfates, carbonates, and bromides. The, sal the salinity is around 37 grams, 3.7 in the Mediterranean and 300 grams, 30%, 30 percent, 30 percent for the Dead Sea. Expression related to the sea. It is not the sea to drink. It doesn't matter. A drop of water in the ocean and insignificant things. To be seeking, see sick, discomfort due to navigation on the on the oh the life light, the last hope. To be at the bottom of the wave. To be in a difficult moment in the in a period of failure. Set sail to wait 
incur, 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 to leave, to go, to see, to flee, to get afloat, to help someone to recover from a difficult situation. Or see dog, a hardened and experienced man, to be on the same side, to be a great. Lead someone on a boat, deceive, deceive. God created the seeds with the active cooperation of Jesus Christ. Create the sea with its inu innumerable species. And the water circle that sustain life on earth. Colossians 1, verse 15 to 17. Hebrew 1, verse 2. Psalms 104, 24. O Yahweh, all very are your works, all are done in wisdom. The earth is full of the riches you have created. Psalm 104, verse 25. He is the sea, immense and vast. There live innumerable animals, small and large. In Revelation chapter 14, verse 7. Worship him who made heaven earth, sea, and spring of water, thanks to the water cycle, life is possible on the surface of the earth. Amos 5 verse 8, he who call the waters of the sea and pour them out on the face of the earth, Yahweh is his name. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 7, all the rivers go to the sea, but the sea is not filled, and they go on, the, on to their destination. Job 36 verse 27, 28, he attracts the drops of water which evaporate and fall as rain. The clouds let it flow. They pour it out abundantly on men. When he was on earth, Jesus showed he had the power to control natural elements like the raging waves. He was also able to walk on water. Matthew 8, verse 23 to 27. John 6, 17 to 20. Mark 4, verse 35 to 41. The history of the people of Israel. The history of the people of God is like to the Red Sea, the Dead Sea, and the Mediterranean Sea. Israel's territory was bound by the Mediterranean Sea to the west, to the west, and Dead Sea to the southwest, southeast. Number 34, verse 6. Your western boundary will be the Mediterranean Sea. It will be your western boundary. And as for the western frontier, 
you will have the great sea for your limit. This will be your western border. God related everything. Three tribes settled east of the Jordan between Mount Hermon to the north and the middle of the Dead Sea. To the south, the half tribe of Manasseh, God, and Ruben. The other tribes set west of the Jordan to the Mediterranean Sea in the west and down be below the Dead Sea, south and Kadesh, to the desert of Sin. For Judah, the southernmost tribe, the eastern border west was marked by the Dead Sea. Joshua 15 verse 5. The eastern boundary was the Dead Sea to the mouth of the Jordan. The Red Sea, the Red Sea is also called Sea of Egypt, Sea of Reeds, or Sea of Reeds, Isaiah 15 verse, Isaiah 11 verse 15. Bad, Bad Bel Manbe from the Arabic. All brothers and sisters, that God said everything according to his will. He has full control over everything, as mentioned. Four angels at the four corners of the earth roll back the four winds and waiting instruction waiting for coming to release this wind. Before this time coming, I invite you to choose the right direction. To have a place that you can go. If someone can protect you, not the other. Not than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ only can protect you. May God bless you all. And stay safe and serve the one who created heaven and earth, the sea, and everything exists by him and for him. May God be with you all. Thank you.